Hi Amy and welcome to Fat Bruce's in Ripon. Today I'm going to be making a tuna melt. We're going to start by making our tuna salad. The tuna salad I make is pretty simple here. I use a, a light tuna in a pouch like this, which you can buy in the store. I've already got one of the pouches in here now. This is a five ounce pouch. Um, and what I'm going to do is just simply dump this in the bowl here. And then I've got a uh, about a third cup of mayonnaise. We're just going to put that right in here. Good quality mayonnaise. You can't use anything that's that has an off flavor or anything. This has got to be a good quality mayonnaise because we're not going to do a whole lot to this to this uh, this tuna here. I've got a one uh, fresh lemon squeezed. I'm just going to dump that in here. Uh, earlier I chopped up and washed up real good. Um, about a third cup of chopped green onions and about a third cup of finely diced celery. We're just going to dump that in there. And then we're just going to add just a half teaspoon of white pepper in here. That's pretty much it. I don't do a whole lot to the tuna salad because I like the tuna to kind of taste like tuna. Um, and what we're going to make with this, once we get it all mixed up, is we're going to make uh, our tuna melt today. That's one of our most popular sandwiches. But again, I don't like to put a whole lot of different things in the tuna salad. I like to make it make it so it tastes like fish. Next, we're going to go over to our panini grill, and I've got uh, a freshly baked sourdough roll here. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to put it in the grill here, inside out, just to kind of toast the insides of it. And while that's toasting just a little bit, I'm going to get uh, one slice of Monterey Jack and one slice of cheddar, both cheeses from Wisconsin here. A uh, nice blend of cheese together. And we're just going to take that out here now. And what we're going to do is we're just going to put this together like this, and you're going to say, I forgot the tuna, but I didn't forget the tuna. We're just going to open it up here. And that way we can make two halves of the sandwich. That way you don't have to cut the cut the tuna because it tends to smoosh out because this is not an easy sandwich to eat. But it's a good sandwich. So we're going to put a nice portion of tuna on top of each. And we're going to close it up. Now we're just going to take it over into the panini grill here. And we're just going to close it down. And let's see, our tuna is just about done here. The cheese is starting to melt. Oh, that looks good. We'll just put that on here, and then we'll pick it with a couple of pretzels. And that's how we serve it here. This is our finished sandwich, the uh, tuna melts. And come to Ripon and try it out here at Fat Bruce's.